All right, everybody, what's going on? And welcome to today's edition of Swag Talk, the show we cover the swag inside and out. I'm your tour guide around the swag, T. Wells, coming at you. And we have more spring games coming up this weekend. We got Gremlin and Bethune Cookman spring games taking place on Saturday. So I'm just going to kind of share what I, you know, what I'm looking forward to from these games, what I expect from these games, you know, everything like that. Um, not, you know, nothing super in depth, but just, you know, kind of feel, you know, get a feel for what's going on. But, um, before we do, before we do all of that, man, y'all make sure y'all check out those socials, Facebook is Swag Talk, Instagram, Swag Talk, Twitter, Swag Talk 76. Have another article dropping on bustingbrackets.com really shortly. So y'all make sure y'all keep it locked to those socials to find out when that drops. Um, also that big, 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 big show coming at you on Thursday, man. We have a special guest on Swag Smoke. Um, the, the diva coach Don Thornton will be joining us on Swag Smoke Thursday live, 6 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. Eastern. So y'all make sure y'all keep it locked there. Um, it's gonna be a great show. So y'all keep it locked with us there. Um, and then you know, we're gonna recap these games on Sunday. So with that being said, man, y'all make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment, and feel free to um just you know continue to hit that subscribe button and that like button, man. We thank y'all tremendously for everything. So uh, we're going to go ahead and start off this, this show talking about Grambling State. Uh, the Tigers, um, they have gone through some change. Coach Hugh Jackson is out. Coach Mickey Joseph is in. Um, new offensive coordinator, Eric Dooley. New defensive coordinator, Jason Rollins. So there's a lot of change at Grambling. Um, and I'm more interested in seeing how things just go, like just with the flow and, and, and everything. Um, with the staff more so than the guys on the field. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how Coach Dooley brings his offense to Grambling. You know, um, are they going to, you know, do they have the guys right now to run what he wants to run? Um, that's going to be interesting. Um, so it's not necessarily, to me, it's not necessarily the Jimmys and Joes in this situation. I just want to see, not even really X's and O's, but I just want to see everything in action. I want to see. How this team comes out, I wanted to see the energy. I just want to get a feel for what this team can be. Um, like I said, with so much newness, you're not going to get a really full feel of what this team is. And they're replacing some big guys on offense. They're replacing some really big guys on defense. So this is not necessarily a start over, but you are going to have to fill some holes um, that were very vital to this team. Um, and this was a team who was pretty hot early in the season. Uh, last year and, and kind of faded late. So we're going to see if they can continue to grow and um, get back to the level of football that Grambling is used to being at. Um, they had their, they had the opportunities last season, but they kind of struggled in, in different aspects. And then the wheels fell off at the end. But um, just having the opportunity to, you know, get guys comfortable, um, with comfortable with what they're doing this year and, and adding to, you know, the recruiting class and everything. Uh, my, my biggest interest is honestly just seeing things in action. You know I mean? It's one of those things where you don't really um, expect to see Eric Dooley on the sidelines at Gremlin again um, as the OC, but that's something, you know, that's happening. You know, coach Rollins, you know, all the, all those new coaches just being there and, and just seeing it in action. Uh, more so than anything, um, anything else, you know, that kind of gives you an idea of, you know, of what you're, uh, what you're working with and um, just gives you, you know, just gives you a, a little bit of solace and, and understanding on, um, on, on where Gremlin is headed. So again, I'm not really too caught up in, um, in what each guy is, you know, what each guy can be. Um, I just, I just, like I said, I just really want to see, see things take place, see things uh, work out and, and, and just go like that. So um, again, not, not a lot of, you know, not a lot of um, concerns, honestly, at this point, just kind of want to see everything in action because, you know, it, it is one of those things that I kind of don't know how it's going to go, how it's going to play out. So I just want to see it in action. Um, and we'll be, we'll be here to talk about all the action on Saturday. Uh, hopefully, you know, we can get a, a, a pretty nice report on things and um, we'll see um, because, you know, getting information on spring games has been um, pretty tough from certain places. So 
Uh, we're gonna try our best to get, you know, to get what we can get, and 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 go from now. So, with Gremlin, is just I just want to see. I just, you know, I said like, with Gremlin, I just want to see what's what. Uh, but Thorne Cookman, uh, they they are kind of in a different mode for me. Um, I want to see this team build on where they were last season. Now their record wasn't good, but defensively they were actually, honestly, not that bad um the defense was pretty solid in in, in some aspects they gave up 168 yards on the ground which is not that bad Uh, they gave up 209 through the air total of uh 377 so not a not a you know saying not a really bad defense you know they did a decent job um decent job um on, on 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 getting pressure um they they registered 22 sacks as a defense so that's not you know that's not great but for a team that was basically brand new um that's not bad um so i want to continue to see that side of the ball continue to develop um you know they brought in a lot of guys on both sides of the ball we want to see how they mesh those guys together but i think last season their defense honestly the defense carried them to an extent um when you look at the record you know how far did they really carry them if you know their record wasn't that good but they the, their defense kept them in a lot of games that they probably would have been blown out of um in, in most in most years so they you know they do lose some key guys but they return some guys who can help their defense and they also bring in some new guys who can help their defense but to me the key to Bethune Cookman is the offensive side of the ball. Um, that side of the ball just really was unable to generate a lot last season. I'm, you know, I'm talking about an offense that only averaged 18 points a game. Uh, they ran the ball for 134 yards a game. They threw the ball. I mean, they, they ran the ball for 125 yards per game. They threw the ball for 134 yards per game. Just not a good offense. And, you know, some of that was personnel. Um, having so many quarterbacks hurt during the season um they started like three or four different different quarterbacks throughout the season um that leads you to um that leads you to some uncertainty and that leads you to a three and eight record uh this team only scored um over 30 points uh they scored over 30 points three times 31 was a season high uh they scored that all three times that they crossed 30 points Uh, but then other than that uh, this team only scored over 20 points um, once at the, other than that. So they scored more than 20 points four times all season. And that's, you know, that's not going to get it done for you. Um, but when your defense um, doesn't really give up a lot of points from time to time, I mean, if you look at some of their some of their victories, um, if you look at some of their losses, excuse me, uh, they gave up 24 points to family, which is not that bad. Uh, they gave up um, – they gave up um, 28 to Gramlin. They gave up 28 to Southern, uh, 34 to TSU. But they gave they scored 31 in that game. 19 to Jackson State, tw- uh, 19 to Alabama State, 22 to Jackson State. So they the defense put them in enough positions to win offense, and 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 most of those losses didn't even cross uh, 20 points. So to me, the key is to get the offense on track. Um, get the passing game going, get that running game going, um, generate some solid offensive line play, and just make things happen. You know, so I I, I kind of want to see, I want to see steps being taken. I want to see and, and and feel like somebody's taking a hold of the quarterback job. I want to see, you know, they like I said, they brought in a lot of transfers. See if any of those guys are, are stepping up and taking, you know, taking the plunge and becoming a vibe weapon for this team because they need offense um defensively like i said last season they didn't have a lot of name guys on their defense but they played pretty solidly so i think they can build on that uh even having to replace guys i think they can build on that um to me like i said it's just offense you have to get the offense going you have to find a way to generate that offense and that you know that starts under center and it starts at the line of scrimmage um, when you run the ball for 125 yards per game and 3.4 yards per carry, you're not opening a lot of holes. Your backs aren't hitting a lot of holes. Um, this team was a team who didn't have a lot of explosive plays. And when I say explosive plays, I mean, you know, plays of 15 yards or more. Um, 
their longest rush on the season was 58 yards, and that was by a wide receiver. So they, you know, they just didn't have a lot of big runs. You know, they had a, um, a 52 yarder as well, a 47 yarder, uh, 25, 28. You know, so they didn't have a lot of explosive run plays. Um, so they just couldn't really make it happen in that aspect. Passing game, same. The longest pass on the season was 43 yards. That you that is that is not good. Um, you know, you can't take the top off of a defense, or even if it's a screen and the guy breaks it for 20, 30 yards, you know, you don't have that explosiveness um to make that happen. So they're gonna have to find a way to get that offense going because I think the defense can still be capable, but you have to have offense in this league to win. Um you have to be able to score 25, 26, 27 points a game to win in this league. So to me, my thing I want to see more from Bethune Cookman. And, and, and again, I, I take a lot of what I see from every team in the spring with a grain of salt. Now you can tell when, you know, a guy who may not have played a lot last year, you know, he's playing now and you can feel like he's, you know, stepping up into a role. You know, I'm looking for more of that more than numbers. Um, because, you know, sometimes in a spring game, you know, it's a glorified scrimmage. So, you you know, they're, they're trying to put you in positions to make the plays. Um, but, you know, sometimes you make them, sometimes you don't. But I just kind of want to feel like coming out of this game, they have their guy quarterback. They have, you know, some explosiveness at, at, at the, in the run game and the pass game. Um, so, my, my, like I said, my interest in Bethune-Cookman this Saturday is the offense. It needs to be a lot better, and you know you're not gonna you're not gonna be a better team because your spring your, your spring offense was good, um, but that can lay the groundwork for you to be better in the fall. So that's what more of what I'm looking for. I'm looking for that groundwork to be laid, and I I, I kind of just want to you know feel like coming out of this that this team has some potential because they you know like I said they had a lot of games that they lost that were you know within reach. So they, you know, they have to get over that hump. And, you know, that is, that's the interesting aspect of this team. So that's kind of what I'm looking for for them. And like I said, for Gremlin, I'm not necessarily looking for a lot of, you know, I'm not looking for a lot from them per se. I just want to see every, I just want to see those guys on the side because that's kind of like, you know, that's different and new. So just kind of want to see that uh, take place. So that's pretty much my thoughts on these upcoming two games. And like I said, we'll be back on Sunday to recap these games. We have Swag Smoke coming Thursday. Y'all make sure y'all check it out. Got a special guest. Should go down. Um, Going to be a lot of fun. Y'all keep it locked with us. And we will catch y'all on the rebound. Peace.